<laughs> Happy New Year, guys. How was your New Year's? Comment down below. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, it's a new year, and with the end of every new year, I always like to do recaps. Um, this year has always been a um, pretty significant step for me as far as video editing goes. This time, for this video, I wanted to go over my, um, how do I say it? My best edits of 2018. I was gonna say 19, holy crap. And I wanna just talk about stuff. Is that okay? Here we go. My first video of 2018 was a 22 k video. I grabbed the original video and I basically green screened, green screened myself in these videos. So this came out on January 2nd. Okay, okay. I see it. I see the progress. I photoshopped I my own photos. <laughs> As you can see, it's not that good. I feel like in this shot right here, I um, was kind of proud of myself, you know? because I had to mask out um, this section over here. I kept everything else and then I masked myself and then for the green screen, obviously you can see how bad the green screen is. The green screen did not have to be perfect. I was just like, obviously it has, it's obviously a parody. So it's obviously going to be bad. So I obviously did not put in a lot of time in these green screens. I don't know if you guys know this, but I still get a lot of flack on my 40 versus one video about how bad the green screen editing is. Yes, I know, it's parody, it's supposed to be bad, okay? All right, let's get that over with, okay? Because I always get comments saying, oh, the green screen is so bad, I could see the green screen. Yes, it's a point. It's parody. It's not supposed to be real, okay? Anyways. And then, as far as the trendy 2K videos, I'm, I always love the outros on this one. Just pops. <laughs> I don't know, I just love, I love explosions, okay? So that's January 2nd, my beginning. If there's one thing that I have to say about my trendy 2K videos, it's just that it's so awkward trying to, trying to shoot it. Trying to get yourself into that mode. You have to pretend that there's people there. It's so hard. <laughs> It's so awkward and cringy without all the editing. And then my, um... <laughs> my brother was in the background. He was supposed to be the producer. This was before I had braces. Oh my god, this is my room. <laughs> this is my room before I painted it. I'm just trying to shoot this. It's difficult, man. Okay, moving on. And then my next video that I did was the uh, K-pop effect video. And that was supposed to be like somewhat of like a sequel to my very first K-pop video, which was the uh, K-pop transformation video. I don't know, I'm really proud of this video because it took so much time and effort, both mentally and physically on me. And my friends also like joined in with me too. And between this video and my first K-pop video, I learned so much, like between those times, because I watched my first video and it's so bad. Like just all the little like edits that I could have done, all the little changes, so like, ugh. Anyways, shout out to, um, shout out to Raph, shout out to Ryan, shout out to Dawson for also like struggling with me to shoot this video too. This was definitely way harder than the first one. As far as post-processing goes, so I'm, very, very, very proud of this one. But every time I think of this video, it gives me nightmares and I'm like so scared to do another big video like this again. Overall, you know, no pain, no gain. But I did enjoy this video for what it was. Definitely taught me a lot. And then after this video, I guess I just felt so discouraged. I was in such a like low place. Like I was in such a huge lump. And um, yeah, that definitely took a toll because I took a break. I didn't start making videos again until September 3rd. I took a fat break and you know what? I'm so sorry. And for those who are still rocking with me in 2018, thank you guys. Moving on, enough of the, enough of the, you know, sad music. So I came back September 3rd with a, uh, another Trendy 2K video. And of course the visuals are so bad. <laughs> I just remember having to mask out the original guy. You could see that there's no end. It just, the light just pops out of nowhere. By the way, shout out GOT7, shout out I GOT7. These guys are just hella funny. <laughs> like 
Like the actual like original video is pretty fun. I actually enjoyed watching it. I watched the whole thing, it's pretty good. The mic that I have is not even an actual mic. I don't know if you guys do karaoke, but uh, yeah, that's a magic mic. <laughs> And I just found like random crap around my house and I just used that instead. And then I found like this BB-8. And then I just used my cat Boo. <laughs> she obviously didn't want to be there. <laughs> September 23rd, this was two weeks later. I um, was really inspired by Fortnite, even though I suck at Fortnite. I saw this video of Kanye West inside a giant green room and I was like, how funny would it be to just put him in Fortnite? Again, this was so awkward too, because I had to talk to Kanye West. <sighs> Am I going to show you guys the, um, the original video files? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It's so cringy. It took a lot of time to add in these little like the burst effects. I actually loved was when I gave Kanye West a power up and just have him like start going ham on everything. You can't even get power ups in regular Fortnite. Moving on, that was Kanye West and Fortnite. So I did my K-pop quizzes in October. And this was like my first time actually doing a video where I was all like interacting with like the computer screen and um, yeah this was definitely a lot more entertaining than I thought it was going to be. It actually made me think a lot more than I was supposed to. I'm just happy I got Sana. <sighs> there was one edit that I was just thought was like super funny. It's definitely a crap edit though. My third eye I was like flang flang flang. That was yeah. <laughs> There you go, guys. So I just added in the little laser beam and then I masked out the building to see like it was inside it. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> so another one that I'm also proud of was this one too. So I just thought this part was really cool because I was like, why don't we just replace the original music video and mask out every single thing and make it become me again. That took me forever. <laughs> I had to mask out every portion, every frame. Boom, that's one, <laughs> two, three. Yeah, very small, but took a lot of time. And you know what, definitely worth it at the end because I really want to use that same image and put like other stuff in to uh, Jimin's mouth. That didn't sound right. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so this one, I thought was pretty cool. And this was around November. This is the first time I actually took a step outside of my house and wanted to do something that was like more of a social experiment. Here's one edit. These little like fire sabers over here, the little fire border. Like there's just so much going on, but it makes it seem like a lot more impactful. And I remember on this section when I had to figure out the equation, I just totally BS'd it. <laughs> I just wanted to rag on Jake Paul. <laughs> and then on this part, I just got like a bunch of text and I was like, okay, let's fly it over. Let's get another video, then let's get some images of me where I just look stupid confused and I'm just like, mask myself out, move that up make it seem like there's so much going on. Made it black and white to make it seem more serious than what it actually really is. And um, yeah, you end up just getting one stupid joke. <laughs> but yes, that was a uh, pretty cool uh, video that I did and I wouldn't mind doing another social experiment like that. I just don't know what. This is my first time I did a, like I guess you could say like a reaction analysis. This took me literally only one hour to edit. Just because all you have to do is talk and then just insert the video as a visual stimulant and just give your own opinion and that's it. That's all it asks for to edit. Normally a video takes me like five to 10 hours and if we're talking about a big, huge project, 20 to 30 hours. And this took me an hour and this is an eight minute video. <laughs> Reaction channels, you know, I gotta give it up to them because you don't have to really put a lot of work in post but as long as you say what is necessary, 
then you could get like a lot of good, you know, feedback on your videos. Maybe I should do more reaction videos. You tell me. Comment below. But yeah, this took me an hour, man. <laughs> There's channels out there. This all there is reaction videos. They have like a million subscribers. And you know what? Good on them. Anyways, pretty cool. Moving on. Uh, my last video of 2018, which was just a vlog. I rarely ever do vlogs. I'm not good on the gun, you know? I'm not good on the go. But I wanted to give it a shot this time because um, I just thought it was uh, cool to show you like a little bit of my life because I feel like all I do is shoot in this room and um, that's it, you know? Oh, I guess right here is something I'm kind of proud of. Zoomed in, put in some motion blur, zoomed out. Did it again, did it again. And I found relevant images in between. Vlogging was hard. Vlogging is really difficult. So this video only took me like three hours to edit. And I gotta say, big ups to, I, there's a million of vlogs and reaction channels. For people to just grind like that every day and just like post, like I could see how it's so easy. You have to make sure that your content that you shoot is like quality, you know? Which is why I enjoy post processing. Because this video just alone is probably the most boring video that you'll ever see in your life. But with the power of post process and editing, i.e. Adobe After Effects, you could make the greatest video of all time. Anyways, um, happy new year guys. Hope you guys liked it. I'm actually not really going anywhere. I'm just moving on to my room. Bye guys.